Hi, so good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we are going to perform the second activity per hour hydraulic system. Okay, so this is this one is just an extension to the previous activity that we had. We will only be adding a holding contact in this particular activity. So let's click the play and then the normal mode okay and then let's take a look at the circuit and then difference of the circuit so as what we can see here the only difference is we only added this 95 as a holding contact and then at the same time if we have the holding contact we have to add a normally closed push button okay so let's try to wire this one first and then simulate it late, later on so 24 volts let's connect this one here so 24 volts okay the positive Let's connect this one to the input of the PB1 and then the output to the input of the PB2 and then the output to the 13 and then 14 to the out to the 14 to the negative of the power supply. Okay, so I think as of this moment you can follow my wiring if you uh, completed all the activities, all the previous activities that we had. Next is we have to connect the 9.5 of our R1. Okay, in parallel with the PB2, so 9 and 5 in parallel with the PB2, the 9 is connected to the input, okay, and then the 5 is connected to the output of the PB2, okay, and then we have to connect this one, the K1, so this one is connected to the PB2, we have to connect this one in PB2, the easiest way, okay. The positive to the input uh, to the output of the PB2. Okay, this positive, this positive to the output of the PB2. Okay, and then this one to the negative supply. Oops. This one is for the negative supply. Okay. And then the 10, we have to connect the 10 to the 24 volts. Okay, so the 10 to the 24 volts, or we can connect it to the input of our PB1. Okay, do that one. There's some wiring here. Okay, and then the 6 is connected to the input of the PL2 and then the negative. 6 to PL2 and then the negative. 6 to the input of the PL2 and then the negative. Okay. And then this one here, the 10 and 10 here are the same. So we are going to use the 2. 2 to the PL1 and the negative. 2 to the PL1. And then out to the negative. Okay, so I think it's done. Let's click the submit button. Passed. Okay, so this will just operate the same as the previous lecture. However, there will be a holding uh, contact when we release our finger or the pressure in DPB2. Let's try. Press. So running. And then if I'm going to release my finger in the PB2, it will continue to run the hydraulic motor will still uh, be running however if you click this pb1 it will stop okay click and release it will run and then it will stop okay so see you in the next lecture